that divine from Jeremy. Um, how have you seen the Becky one version of the Miss Universe? Diba, ano mo, gusto ko na nga makita yung mga sinasabi niyo sa akin sa internet kasi kung alam niyo lang, hanggang ngayon, hindi pa rin ako nakakabaw yung natulog. Siguro, since I left Friday night sa sa LA at, at three hours ang tulog ko, as ngayon, dead-dead So, wala, wala talaga akong time to to watch anything, kahit yung pageant, I haven't watched it. So, sana ka panood ko na. Sana may time na ko manood. Do you have plans of watching it? Kasi sa... Of course, of course. Ako enjoy ako sa mga ganon. Gusto, gusto ko manood ng mga ganon. Kaya I'm excited. Sana nga, ano eh, papasihin ko na para makita, panood ko na ng mga bilis. <laughs> Like trending for sure worldwide. Wow. So, I actually I thought there's something funny. Um, in uh, the Brazil airport, there was this um, guys na who came up to me. They're from Venezuela and one is Dominican Republic. At I don't think they na. Did you know that a Filipino has been parang doing uh, ano nga daw? Parang ginagaya daw si Miss Angola. Iba daw ginagaya. Alam nila, parang po, wow! Iba ang Pinoy talaga, kapag mag-spoof. Ang bilis. I mean, the next day, no, no two days after. Shall I clarify na lang, in one of your BB status, you said you were stranded in NAO? Yes! What was it, what happened in that? Grabe, um, okay. Monday was the pageant night. And my flight was Tuesday, 10 p.m. So we went to the airport. It was like two hours away from the from the hotel. So we left at 6 p.m. We got there at 8. We boarded the plane at 10. That was we waited 10, that was 11, 12, 1, 2 a.m. And then, because actually that there was something wrong with the left engine of the airplane. So we're, we're trying to fix it. But after four hours of waiting inside the plane, the pilot uh, we said that they cannot fix the problem and we have to leave the plane. So it was 2 a.m. We had to go out, get our bags. We didn't have my mom was in the Filipino. And then um, we, we had to look for a hotel. So I got to the hotel 4 a.m. And they said there's no other flight but the next day, Nangabe. So we were standing like 24 hours. This yeah. was in Brazil. This was in Brazil. And um, during that time, they were still there because like 300 passengers, eh. so they had to um, send some through that. Because I had to go from Miami to LA, so I had the other they went to Dallas, the other Houston, the other Miami. Ah, ako, I went through Dallas and then Dallas, LA. So I I arrived a day late in LA. Okay, come on, because. Oh, that's good about it. Sabi nga namin, there's a purpose for everything that's happening. What the good thing about it is that I was able to rest for one whole day in the hotel. There was free food, free hotel, free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Which is sabi ko, if that's enough for me. At masaya naman kami. At we were able, at least, sabi nga namin, at least hindi nasira yung plane habang nasa air kami. Buti na lang, bago kami upalis, sira na siya. <laughs> Sino naman yung kasama mo nung 24 hours day mo na yun? Sina Dayan Castillo? Ah, okay. So you were with them? I was with them. They helped me. I mean, sa mga bags ko and everything. They were there. Hi, Shamsi. I'm Alan Santan from Mod and Pep.ph. Um, during your interview kay Diane, uh, during the swimsuit competition, aminado ka na nagkamali kang hindi mo natanggal ang sarong mo. Do you think nung nakapasok ka ng top fight, naging malaking factor yon or talagang mistake pa rin at your side? Hindi ko alam kasi, um, grabe, natawa-tawa ako sa nangyari kasi paulit-ulit siya sabi sa amin ng trainer namin during the, the yung, choreo yung choreographer namin. She would always tell us na, don't ever forget to take off your sarong. Like, that's a mortal sin. If you forget to take it out, you're never get, gonna get in. Paulit ulit yun, paulit ulit. And before I went out, during that final night, before I went out, she said, don't forget to, don't forget to take it out, don't forget to take it out. I said, yes, yes. But then, I won't go eh, parang, nagkakatawa ko, pagkating ko lang sa, yung 
pipipila na. Pagtingin ko dito, sabi ko, patay. <laughs> Ganun ko agad yung sarong ko, ganyan. <laughs> Tapos, when we went backstage, I said to Miss Portugal, you know what, I did something very, very wrong. I said, yeah, I know, I saw you. <laughs> so that time, sabi ko, I was saying during the top 10 announce, announcement, I was praying, sabi ko, Alam mo, Lord, alam ko naman din ako mapasok eh. Kasi mali eh. Mali talaga yung ginawa ko eh. Sinabi niya niya, nagbawal nga may sarong during the walk. Pero sabi ko, pag ako nakapasok dito, milagro talaga to. Ikaw na talaga naglagi ng pangalaw ko doon. <laughs> so nung tinawag ako, I was shocked. I was shocked. Sabi ko, Aba? Sabi ko na nga ba, Lord, malakas ako sa'yo eh. <laughs> sabi niya, ikaw na talaga. Ikaw na talaga naglagi sa akin doon. So I was so happy. Or mga, hindi ba naisip na susunod na mga mga pageant, gagayain ka ng halos lahat ng mga magsisayusot ay nakasarong? Or lalo na yung mga, yung mga Becky na during the competition, may mga sarong na sila because naginaya nila sa iyo yun. Ay nakakatawa kasi I thought a lot of people would react negatively with what I did. Kasi it was really, alam na mga kanilat sila, it was a mortal sin. Parang gawin, mortal sin yun. But then when I heard a lot of people were happy about it, tapos parang kaiba ka, ikaw na yung nagganoan. And then they were, um, they were uh, imitating me, ganyan. Parang, hindi naman ito mukhang bali. Mukha naman daw tap <laughs> during that time. So, I'm just happy na ganyan yung reaction. Hindi ba nang bali yung nagawa ko noong time na yun. Thank you, congratulations. Hi, congratulations, John. I am Tuti from DCW. Ang tanong ko po ay, Marami ang uh, uh, in, naging intriga din dito sa Pinas yung question ni Lia Saloga sa mga kay Miss Angola na nanalo ng Miss Universe 2011. Ang tanong ko, ikaw ba nung narinig mo yung question ni Miss Angola, yung question ni Miss Lia kay Miss Angola, nakaramdam ka din ba ng disappoint na parang miss, pam, parang pang Miss Barangay yung tanong sa kanya? <laughs> no? I don't know. I, I think we should stop, ano, kawawa uh, naman si Miss Lia. It's not her fault. Uh, and I'm sure it wasn't her question because I saw it with my own eyes that the Miss Universe organization passed out cards before the question and answer portion with questions on it. So it wasn't her question, it was the question of the Miss Universe organization and it just so happened it came to her. Kung ikaw ang sasagot sa tanong ni Miss Leia, pakisagot niya ako. Ah, ang Would you change? Oh, I've answered this. Okay. I said, um, uh, what Ms. Angola said, I wouldn't change anything at all. Yeah. Because I believe I was created in God's image. And everything that God created is beautiful. So I am beautiful just the way I am. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Shamsi. I'm Bianca Pirel of NBN4. So how will you give back to the Filipinos who supported you in Miss Universe? I've always said that, um, how will I give back? Hmm. I think it's more of being able to represent my country well. I think that's one of, yun talaga yung lagi kong iniisip. Nung nandun ako sa pageant, it was not myself. Sabi ko kung ako lang yun, <laughs> okay lang. It wasn't my dream. Pero whenever I think about all the fans, all the Filipinos who have given their time, their effort, everything to support me. Yun yung nag sa akin ng no. I cannot, I cannot let them down. So, I, I believe ko ano yung ginawa ko doon was one way to give it back to them. To all their support. Kaya ako, I, I, I had to give my best. I had to show them that all their efforts are not gonna be wasted. And uh, I hope they're, they're still, they're proud of me. So yun, yun yung, ano.